So a user asked me if it would be possible to uh, have a bot that would only answer the question uh, if the user has uh, enough credits. So would it be p possible to implement a sort of a, a credit store uh, maybe with the Google Sheet in, uh, integration? And in fact, so uh, yeah, I, I worked on this uh, uh, a bit on this MVP and I'll just show you how it works. So basically we have this spreadsheet with just two columns, the email column and the credits uh, column. And so the idea is that we will we keep track of the available credits for a specific user based on its email, on his email. Uh, and uh, each time the user ans uh, asks a question, we remove one credit from uh, the store. And if he, does, if he doesn't have any credit left, uh, we just uh, ask him to purchase more credits. So let me walk you through uh, this bot. Uh, so it's a great example of how the Google Sheets block can be used um, uh, as a da database of, of some sort. So we first ask for uh, the email and we check if uh, the, the row on the spreadsheet uh, already has this email. So we get the data and we filter it with uh, email equal to uh, the variable email. So the variable is just collected here. And then we extract the column. Uh, so we extract only the credits uh, column. So yeah, we, we might also rename this credits, but for now it's credit. So the idea is now if, so first let's talk about this case. If credit is empty, it means that credit does not exist. So it means that the email wasn't uh, created at all. So we don't have a row for that specific email. So the idea is that we will uh, be connected to this create new account uh, group that will set the credit to one. And we say, okay, you have one free credit. And then we insert a row uh, with that specific email and that new uh, credit um, uh, variable. So then we jump to the uh, ask a question group. We ask a question, he answers, and we remove one credit from the existed credit amount. Uh, we update the row with the new credit count, as you can see, uh, for the update, we filter out uh, with the email, email equal to the variable email, and we update the credits variable with the new credit uh, that has been uh, updated here uh, with minus one. And then we jump to the check credits uh, group again. So we, we move here again. And we have now two other cases. So the first one would be if credit is equal to zero, it means that the user doesn't have any credits left. And we just tell him, okay, you don't have any credits left, purchase more credits. And we could have several options. You could uh, maybe, uh, you know, add a payment block uh, with it so that you, you make sure that the, uh, the user has to, to pay for the credits. And so here, we, I don't plug it to any system. Uh, I just, you know, add the, add the credit amount uh, based on the, uh, the user's choice. And we just update the row with the new credit uh, variable. So it works as the same as this one. And then we ask again the question. We remove one credit once we have the answer. And we jump again to the check credits. And let me talk about the, you know, the, the third uh, case, which is, okay, credit is superior to zero. Credit is not empty. It means it exists. So we just have to jump to ask a question group. And we just, you know, uh, jump to this group. So we have, a, a, you know, a, a call system here uh, where uh, the user can ask a question um, and the answer is equal to one credit. So let me just show you a simple case. So let's create a new uh, email. So we won't get any data from the sheet. So we'll go to that block, create a new account. You have one free credit, ask a question. So let me show you in the spreadsheet. Okay, there is this new test at test.com uh, with one uh, free credit. Uh, so we ask a question, question, and there we remove one credit, one, cred one credit, we update the row. And as you can see, you don't have any credits left, purchase more credit. If we check out our spreadsheet, we don't have any credits left. So that's true. Uh, let's add three credits. 
we update the row. Let's take it out. Okay, we have three credits indeed. And, and now, you know, the idea is that if I'm leaving now and I just restart the bot and I say, okay, I'm test at test.com, uh, is that it? Yes. He will say, okay, uh, ask a question. And I can ask several questions because I have three credits left. So now I have two credits left. I can uh, again ask a question and a last question. And I'm redirected to you don't have any credits left. So yeah, uh, you can create that kind of system with uh, Google Sheet as your uh, database. And yeah, Google Sheet is an example. You could uh, also use any other type of database-like service such as Airtable or anything, even though uh, we don't have a, an Airtable integration on Typebot uh, at the moment, but soon uh, we will. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for watching and, uh, and catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.